If you followed me for a long time, then you know I talk about a lot of traditional breathing techniques, especially apojo breathing techniques like the sniff, where the rib cage really opens up and we kind of hold on to that breath non-violently, kind of retaining that breath as we sing, or the happy surprise, where again we kind of get lifted and opened in the rib cage. Hey Shadow, <laughs> we get lifted and opened in the rib cage and it really works well and a lot of you love it. The person here said it works for me. But I have older videos where I talk about the belly and the, the lower portion, like more of a teardrop shaped breath as opposed to a V-shape. To put it simply, it's a continuation, not a contradiction. So the 360 breathing is, is good, but just as we grow as vocalists, you grow as a teacher, over time, because even though I may look very young, <laughs> that's maybe like over 10 years ago, I learned the importance of length in the breath equation, how it's not enough to just be big, we have to have that lengthening of the spine and that opening of the rib cage. So I don't see starting here as wrong. I think it's fine for a beginner, but as we get more advanced, I think it's very important that we tap into the feeling of full body expansion, meaning 360, but also the lengthening effect. And I think that a lot of traditional apoggio methods like Tetrazzini sniff, and if you don't know what that is, look up my, look up sniff, you know, on YouTube or whatever, or here on uh, TikTok, um, or the awestruck gasp or the happy surprise. I think those techniques get more to the heart of how we need to breathe to sing um, a lot faster. And there's more than that in my programs, obviously. My breathing boot camp program, I really break it down from like start to finish. Um, but yeah, so if you learn the way from my old videos, it's not worthless, it's just not finished, you know? That 360 is the start of it, but you also wanna feel that connection to your pelvic floor and the connection to your rib cage and to the back of the throat to kind of complete the set. So I hope that makes sense and clarifies a bit. It's not the, it's something I have a whole program on, so I can't fully knock it all out in one video, but I hope that clarifies things a bit. So listen to your body. If the sniff feels better for you, it's what you need to be doing.